systems of equations. So just like yesterday, system, let's flip it over, system means a set of two or more, but instead of linear inequalities, today we're doing equations. linear equations. So there's no shading with an equation. So it's a little less work. You're welcome. Yeah. So systems of equations. A system of equations again is very similar to a system of inequality except instead of an inequality it is an equation. So it's a set of two or more linear equations, so they have to make a line on the same graph. So they're equations, right? They're not inequalities. So if we think about it, they're all solid lines, right? Because they all have an equal sign. So there's no dotted, it's all solid. There's no shading because it's not a range, right? It's an exact answer. So yesterday, our answer was where the two shaded regions intersected. Today, our solution is not where the shaded regions intersect because there is no shaded region. The solution to the system is where the lines intersect. The solution to the system is where the lines intersect. What do you call where two lines intersect? What would that be called? What's your answer going to be in the form of? A what? Well, that's the line. The line is y equals mx plus b. Your answer is where they two cross. So what do you think where they cross is called? The y <laughs> The solution is an ordered pair. Oh, it's an ordered pair. There needs to be a comma. Sorry. that better? Yep. The solution is an ordered pair, x comma y. In general, don't hold me to these statistics that I'm about to tell you, but in general, let's say 90% of the problems you do will have a solution. 90% of problems will have an X comma Y answer. Almost every single problem, you will graph them, they will intersect, you'll have an answer. Almost every single one. I appreciate it. I'll take it into consideration. What, Dylan? It's because we're psychically linked. No. 5% of problems will be no solution. What do you think a no solution would look like? They don't touch. There's no intersection. Right? They don't touch. They're parallel lines. P-A-R-R-E-L-L. -L. P -A -R -E -L -L. Lines. Spelling was hard today. Pair. Uh. Lel. Ugh. You're a mess. 
I know. P A R A L E L L. Para Wow Makes sense. And then 5% of your problems will be all real numbers or infinite solutions or is that like a vertical line on vertical line? Thanks, Olivia. This one is they're on top of each other. They're the same line. Like you graph one and then you graph the next one and it has the same intercept and the same slope. So since they're on top of each other, how many points of intersection do they have? All of them infinite. All of them infinite. So I guess let's say infinite. As opposed to all real numbers. Because I guess that's not true. It wouldn't be every single number in the whole wide world. I N F I N. I T E. Yes. We'll have. All right, so this is the easiest type of question you're going to see. There are four like this on your homework. Is 4, 1 a solution to the system. Is the ordered pair 4 comma 1 a solution to x plus 2y equals 6 and y equals negative x minus 3? Is it a solution? So this answer is a yes or no question. I really enjoy it when questions say things like this, like is this a solution and you write the number 6. <laughs> It happens more than you'd like to think. So to do these problems, it's super easy. You don't need to graph. Yes. Yay. Your hand just teleported. I know, it's amazing. Substitute 4 comma 1 or whatever it is, right, the ordered pair. Substitute the ordered pair into both yeah. equations. Your calculator is going to be your best friend, or mental math is going to be your best friend at this point in time. If both are true, it's yes. If both are false, it's no. If one is true and one is false, it's no. They have to both work in order for you to say yes. Yep, it's kind of like the positive and negative uh, correlation. They both have to be positive, right, to be positive. They both have to be true to be yes. Except in correlation, if they were both negative, that would change it to a positive. So here we go. Mental math, 
will be your friend. I'm writing it out because these are your notes. Instead of X, we're putting in four. And instead of Y, we're putting in one. X plus two Y equals six is really four plus two times one equals six. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. If the first one gives you a no answer, do you think you have to check the second one? No. no. Because if one of them is no, if one of them is false, it's automatically a no, it's not a solution. Uh, if the first one is true, do you have to check the second one? Yes. So y equals negative x minus 3. So 1 equals negative 4 minus 3. Is that true? Is that what it, right? Negative x. Negative 4 minus 3. Is that true? No. So is this a solution? No. Nope. Question? Somebody? Next page.